CataractCoach.com. The Cataract Hazard Perception Test. Will you be able to find the hazard in these eight situations? This is a really fun one. Check this out. Here's clip one. Now, the question is, what's going on here? What is the issue here? Hmm, let's look. What do you think? What's the issue here? Now, you can see there's some sort of subconj, maybe some subtenons block those, given a little bit of subconj hemorrhage there. Now, the patient's certainly not cooperating. There's the Bell's reflex. And the eye's not in a good position. Eye's certainly not in primary. Trying to make the incision. Wh who, whose hand is blocking the view? How are you making the incision without even seeing it? Right? That's certainly an issue there. All right, clip two. What's going on in this one? All righty. Going inside the eye. E eye not in primary. Look at the AC shallowing. Oh, my goodness. Look at all the viscoelastic coming out of the eye. What are we doing here? Right? What are we doing here? This is an issue. So eyes not in primary, very obscured view, hard to see what's going on right here. Really not ideal. This is where the patient's chin is tucked. If the patient's chin is tucked, your surgery is challenging. Clip, clip three. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, you got a malugan ring in the eye. Mm, how's your view? Where's the rex's edge? There it is, okay. Oh, don't let go of the rex over that opaque cortex. Because now you know where it, you don't know where it is. You didn't have to use tripan blue dye, but if so, okay, let's, let's say you're not doing it, that's okay. I wouldn't use it here, but you can't let go of the rectus over the opaque areas of cortex because now it's impossible to see the edge. Now where's the edge? Look at that. Oh no no no! So that's an issue there. Okay, we got this one correct. If you don't want to hear me cheating, give me the answers. Just turn off the audio, mute the audio, and you can go the rest through the rest of this on your own. Clip four. Let's see what's next. Clip four. All righty. What's going on here? Looks okay. Eye looks like it's in primary. Looks like a rex is done. Incisions look reasonable. Faco probe going inside the eye. All righty. And then, whoa, what's that? what just happened? Come on, we know this. I'll give you a hint. High myope, maybe prior vitrectomy. That was a reverse pupillary block. As soon as you put the probe in the eye, you saw that. You should know about that. If you're a cataract coach fan, you know that. What do you do right now? Use that chopper and just tent up the iris temporarily. It'll fix it. Now, clip five. What's going on here? Let's look. Let's look. All right. Taking out the rest of this little epinuclear shell here. That comes out pretty easy. And that looks good. And then, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're losing infusion. Put the probe back in the eye. The probe came out of the eye. You lost infusion. Oh, whoa, look at that right there. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you can easily puncture the capsule like that. Easily. You need to keep the infusion in the eye. Why are you not using your second hand here to help you? Ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, is that a hole in the capsule? Maybe not. Maybe you got lucky here. That is the, the probe coming out of the wound. All right, clip six. We had eight of these, eight of these total. All right, trying to go inside the eye with the bimanual IA setup here. Okay. And then let's see what we got here. Cleaning up cortex. That looks all right. And then, so far, so good. It's not bad. Watch that left hand. What up, up, up? You just, oh, you lost the infusion. That's an obvious one. Come on, everyone knows that one. You got to be able to control both hands as you operate. You got to know what's going on here. All right, clip seven. Hopefully, you're getting all these correct. Now, let's see what's going up here. Cleaning that up. Okay, it looks reasonable. Very reasonable. And let's take a look now. All right. Mm, still watching. Yo, 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 you can't enlarge the incision without some... You've got to have some infusion in the eye. You can enlarge the incision if you keep the infusion probe in the eye or put viscoelastic. You can shallow out the AC. That, that hair comb can puncture the posterior capsule. That's your issue there. Don't reject viscoelastic now. You should have put the viscoelastic before. All right, here's our last clip. See if you can get this right. All right, this, this is fun. All right, FACO probe in here. Okay, we're taking this out. Okay. I wish the eye was in primary. See the cornea light reflexes over the FACO incision. That should be out of the center of the cornea. Not so hot there. Mm, let's take a look. Get the piece in front of you. Again, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Oh, look at the iris. Iris coming out of the incision. Eye this case. Really, you got to get better positioning here. 
I don't know why you like operating superiorly. Let's go over this. Now, here's the hazard perception test. This was presented right, it was at the Ukiskris meeting in London a few months, a months ago. So in driving, we do hazard perception all the time, right? You can detect abilities for the driver. Can you see the hazards ahead of time? Can you get better? Well, can you apply it to cataract surgery? And clearly you can. So if you look here in the participants in this study, if you look at the initial hazards and then they did hazard perception training and then see the results after, they improved. So that's actually a very promising thing. And you can even look at just junior residents and see how they do alone because they arguably have more to learn. So again, all the participants got certainly better at hazard perception with the training involved. And the juniors even doubled their success rate. Again, still a little bit low on the overall success. I think if you're an experienced surgeon, if you've done 500 cases, you should be able to get at least 80% of these right. So conclusion, hazard perception training improved performance and perception mindset can improve safety. I love it. Hey, check out our podcast, top podcast on all of ophthalmology. It'll teach you to be a better surgeon. Check it out.